try to children from South Africa, God. Join together in unity, God, because of you, Jesus. Lord God, it's our desire tonight, God, not to put on a show, Lord God, not to perform on a concert, God. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, everybody. From a crowd standpoint, God. Good morning, good morning, good morning. God, to unite with one voice, Lord God, tonight, to bring you praise and to bring you worship, God, or please your heart. But God, all we want is you, Lord Jesus. All we want is you, God. For real, Jesus. Good morning, good morning, good morning. If my fear was out of the world, I hear you speak and won't let go. Fall to my knees to lift my hands and pray. Good morning, good morning. Welcome in to the Everyday Until 8 a.m. Experience. Good morning, good morning. Glad y'all are here this morning. Listen, come on in with your praise. Come on in uh, with your hands up. You understand me? Let's enter to his courts with thanksgiving, enter to his gates with praise. Come on, let's praise him this morning. Good morning, good morning. All we need is Jesus. All we need is him. Come on, good morning. Good morning. How are y'all? Yeah, good morning. Good morning to you. Come on, Jacksonville, Florida is on the wall. Good morning, Mr. Denise. Come on, good morning. Welcome in, welcome in. There she go, Alicia Turner, somebody beat you this morning. Come on, Wiley, Texas did not come in first this morning. Something's happening. <laughs> your, your hump day turned into Thursday. Let's go, let's go. Put your city and state on the wall, y'all. Come on, Captain Keys, Dallas, come on. Come on, let's go. The tribe is here this morning, everybody's on the wall. Good morning, woo, look at IG, y'all early this morning. Good morning, good morning. Decatur, Alabama's on the wall. Come on, Jeremy, there it is, come on. We got the Lloyds in the building. The Lloyds, Lloyds, Lords of London, Lloyds of London. <laughs> uh, Lloyds of, yeah, Lloyds. All right, come on, let's go. Good morning, glad to be with y'all this morning. Excited about it. Uh, uh, Joe Jones was singing this song. She, uh, well, she attempted to sing this song, one of my favorites uh, from uh, Hillsong United. And uh, boy, I, I just couldn't wait to get to it this morning. Good morning, Miss Tanya. Come on. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Dania. Good morning, y'all. Bless the Lord. Come on. To the degree that you can remain consistent, you will see multiplied breakthroughs in your life. Thank you, Miss Sapphire. Y'all, come on. Give it up for Sapphire. Y'all, Slidell, Louisiana is on the wall this morning. Slidell. Yes, good morning. Good morning. It is a good morning. Today is the day the Lord has made. I choose to rejoice and be glad, be glad in it. Come on, New Orleans, we praying for y'all. We praying for y'all. What was not supposed to come hit in a category two. So praying that the damage is minimal. Reach in. if anybody knows Pastor Chris, please text it. Uh, pray for them uh, there. Got several of our, our members' families that are uh, there in that, in that region. Uh, let's make sure we, uh, we cover them, all right? We're going to cover them. Good morning, good morning. Check on your people, y'all. Check on your people. We need to see uh, Booty on the wall. We need to see Booty on the wall. Come on, is Booty here? Are y'all here? Talk to us, talk to us. Good morning, y'all. Yes, 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 yes. If you have a prayer request placed on the wall, y'all know what happens. Somebody will get your prayer request. If you have a prayer request you believe is private in nature, make sure that you send it to admin at amazingchurch.com. If you're on IG and the phone call, and if you're on YouTube and Facebook, uh, go ahead and click on the link there, all right? Click on the link and uh, fill the form out its entirety and jump back on the call, all right, y'all? Let's go. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today's going to be a little different, a little, little different. Not like yesterday is different, <laughs> uh, but just a little different, all right? Uh, let's get ready to go. I'm glad y'all are here this morning. Thank you so much for joining us at the 8 a.m. experience. Come on, we have church every day, tribe, every day, family, every day, y'all, every day. And the Lord hadn't slowed down. The Lord hadn't stopped. There's something important, y'all, something important. Y'all make sure that y'all understand this, that something is important going on, taking place, and we are in uh, those 90 days. I don't I don't know maybe I'll I'll see about getting uh, our communication team and or um, our media director to uh, put something up for us so that we'll know 
what day we're in so the countdown even be uh worth it amen uh but listen uh, today today uh, i give you inspiration that's coming out of the word of god and then i'll give you motivation what that word is saying what that scripture is saying and then i'll give you application that application is for you to carry it out because we believe we're applying god's word today to live life a better way all right with that being said man praise god make sure that you like comment share and tag and some of you, when you get off, especially those of you that are on IG, uh, when you get off, go ahead and reshare this. I uh, typically have the information in there for you at the time. Uh, we are we are glad that you guys focus in with us, uh, even with. Uh, hopefully, I'm not pixelated this morning. It looks really, really clear for me this morning over here. Uh, so hopefully, it's really clear for you over there and both sides. All right, come on. One of my one of my uh, one of my baby girls is on the line this morning. Come on, that's right. Get them up. Listen, if you're watching, come on, Portland, Oregon. Y'all better hear it. Y'all better y'all up early. Uh, in the event that you are watching uh, either on your television or you're watching in a in a group. Uh, we love you all, and uh, and so you can't necessarily come on. There go Bootay, y'all. There go Booty. Uh, I say Booty, but it's Booty. All right, there it is, Mr. Great stuff. We're praying for y'all. Uh, let us know on the wall uh, how things are there, okay? Uh, but now, those of you that are in watch parties, those of you watching television or you're listening by speakerphone, uh, know that uh, even though you can't comment, we want to let you know that we do love you. We appreciate you. You can come back later on and uh, make comments. All right. So let's give you your address. Uh, let's celebrate. Let's give God praise for it. Since we're not standing, let's at least give God praise for it. The address uh, for your inspiration this morning uh, is coming out of. Are you ready? Come on, y'all. Everybody, let's give God praise for it this morning. Come on. I uh, had a little surgery. I uh, had some things that took place. But come on, our New Jersey ambassador, Miss Gertrude, is on the wall this morning. Come on, let's give it prayer. Let's give it, give prayer. Let's give it praise, y'all. Come on, let's give it praise. Let's give it praise. Glad to see you. Glad to see you, Miss Gertrude. Glad to see you this morning. All right. All right. Uh, thank you, y'all. Listen. All right. Uh, Emma, lots of power outages. Uh, in a, uh, amazing. All right. Let's make sure that we uh, we pray that God glad that today you get guys there in the, the region. You get to wake up and at least it's not still going on. OK, uh, but we're praying for the area. We'll cover it on today. All right. Your address, guys, your address for today's uh, inspiration is coming out of. Are you ready? Matthew, Matthew, the 27th chapter. And we're going to read verses three and four. Matthew, the 27th chapter. And we're going to read verses three and four. Can y'all give God praise for it this morning? Come on, Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Y'all better be here. Good morning, Miss Brittany. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? There it is. There it is. Matthew 27. Verses three and four says, then Judas, his betrayer, seeing that he had con seeing that he had been condemned, was remorseful. And brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? You see to it. I'll read it to you again. It says, then Judas, I know y'all like, what? It, it's inspirational. Just stay with me, okay? <laughs> uh, then Judas, his betrayer, seeing that he had been condemned, was remorseful and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? Uh, you see to it. Uh, so we're looking at this and we're saying, okay, what, what's what's going on, on here? Uh, we know that Judas sold Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. He showed uh, the chief priests and uh, those the Roman soldiers where they came and arrested Jesus uh, because uh, they called Jesus a blasphemer. Uh, and so uh, he was to be stoned to death according to the law. However, uh, in and in Rome, since they were under Roman rule, uh, they brought him to be judged, and then he was going to be crucified. Crucifixion during that time would have been uh, hanging on uh, a, a wooden pole sticks. Um, they they hung they hung them there, and they hung them on the street, uh, just as people were coming in and out of the Damascus Gate. Uh, that gate is on um, uh, well, I was about to say northern but I think it's on the southernmost part uh, uh, of the city. Uh, and I, that, that's up for debate there. Uh, Y'all don't, don't take me at that. You'll be able to look it up and see. Uh, and then you go out that gate, you go out that gate, the, uh, the, 
where where Golgotha is, the hill of a skull is what it looked like uh, before it became a bus station. It's a bus station now, <laughs> uh, but that's where uh, Jesus was uh, crucified. And so Judas is coming to the the high priests and the elders and saying, and listen, I, I'm wrong. The words here says that uh, Judas was remorseful. His betrayer, Judas, his betrayer, the one who did, it, did him wrong, his betrayer was remorseful. This word remorseful doesn't mean that he was uh, felt sorry. It is that he not only was sorrowful, but he also, he also changed his mind. So he was sorrowful and he changed his mind. So, so, so a lot of times people are sorry, but their mind hadn't changed about the decision they made. And so we see here that even though Judas was was sorry, uh, he also changed his mind about betraying Jesus, but not about who Jesus was. So so Judas, Judas was not there to agree uh, that Jesus was the son of God. How do you know this? Uh, how do you see it? It's right here because it does not say that he betrayed. Uh, he felt sorry or changed his mind because he believed who Jesus was. He says that I have betrayed innocent blood, meaning that he did not believe Jesus did anything. Now that's that's debatable. You can debate that. But what we're seeing here is he says, I've betrayed innocent blood. That, not that, that Jesus is Lord. I betrayed innocent blood. He is the son of God. Uh, I betrayed innocent blood. Uh, he said he did nothing wrong. And even Pilate, Pilate did not necessarily acknowledge him as being the son of God, the savior of the world. He just acknowledged that the man, based on what he saw, did nothing wrong. Uh, but because the chief priests and the elders uh, were having issues with Jesus, performing miracles, causing them to lose money, doing stuff on the Sabbath that they were supposed to hold holy. I'm telling you, he's saying here, he's saying here, my heart is broken for the wrong, the injustice that is being done. Here we see that this is an example of injustice causing change or remorse uh, in a man's heart. All right, so that's what this is about. And then they said, they said to him, uh, this this king, uh, he know he had been judged. He know he had been condemned. That's what the word condemned means, that he had been judged. Now, aren't we glad today that the word of God says that now, therefore, there's no condemnation for those of us who love him and walk after the spirit. If you love him, if you love the Lord and you walk after the spirit, you ought to give God praise because uh, you are not condemned. You don't have a judgment that's going to put you put you under. You got a judgment that's going to resurrect you. Come on, give him glory for it. All right. And then it says, and they said to him, what is it to us? Get this. The ones who set you up, set you up. The ones who set you up, set you up. They got what they wanted and they didn't care anything else about you. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt like somebody used you, got what they wanted, and then they left you in the place? Have you ever felt like you were a champion? You, you were fighting for someone else, an injustice for someone else, an injustice for someone else, and then the one that you fought for left you out of are y'all following me? Are y'all following me? Uh, where, where, where are you going with this? Where are you going with this? Uh, this is critical for us. Here's your motivation before I give you your application. Here's your motivation so you can stay with me. It says, when the enemy gets you to hang yourself, because see, that's what it says. That's what Judas did after he left here. He hung himself. When the enemy gets you to hang yourself, he won't care because once he's used you, he has no use for you. Woo, I'm helping somebody this morning. You've been praying. You've been asking the Lord for a sign. Here your sign is this morning. Here's your sign this morning. Here it is. When the enemy gets you to hang yourself, he won't care because once he's used you, he has no more use for you. So what's your app? Come on, somebody say it. What's your app? Come on, somebody say it. Hey, listen, all, all the late comers to the car, they're going to be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to you real quick while I wait for my today. He says that then Judas' betrayer, seeing that he had 
had been condemned was remorseful. He, is, he was brokenhearted and changed his mind about the 30 pieces of silver and selling out Jesus, uh, this innocent man. So he brought the pieces of silver back to the chief priests and elders saying, listen, I don't want it. I, I betrayed innocent blood. And they said, well, hey, listen, it don't matter no more about us. You can go and do what you're going to do. We don't even care nothing about you. What is that to us? Hey, man, listen, that's between you and yourself. For me, hey, listen, for us, we got what we wanted. See you later. And you see this, that he understands, he understands this, that once the ones who set you up, set you up, and you realize that they set you up, they don't care anything else about you. True that. You better hear that. Come on. Come on, Shandrika. And then when the enemy gets you to hang yourself, get you to put yourself in trouble, get you to put yourself uh, in harm's way, get to put you putting yourself in this. It's nobody else because you've been drawn away, according to James, by your own lust, by your own lust, you've been drawn away. And once that lust is full grown, full blown. You got to know today. Are y'all hearing me? Alicia, are you hearing me? Y'all, you got to know today that the enemy don't care anything about you because once he's used you, he has no more use for you. In these, in these 90 days that we're in right now, as we're, as we're walking towards, as we're, as we're entrenched, fighting for the faith, as we are in his ways, dripping with abundance, God's abundance is dripping in his ways, we have to vigilantly, we have to vigilantly fight for this faith. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Miss Shirley from Olathe, Kansas, are you hearing what I'm saying? This is important for us. This is important for us. So today, here's your app, today. I saw y'all today. Today, today, you, me, us, repent for our soul's sake. Now, remorseful is, is being, being apologetic, being sorrowful, is a form of repentance. But in this situation, there was no acknowledgement of the Savior. For us, let, let, us, let us repent today of things that we know, of things that could could hang us. <laughs> For we are breathing. We have an opportunity now. And the Lord, the Lord will make himself available. Today, 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 repent in any area. Just let it, don't hold on to stuff because of pride. Don't hold on to stuff because of ego. Don't hold, be remorseful and repent for your soul's sake. That's today. That, that's your application today. Your application today could save your soul. <laughs> Redeemed already. You know what I mean. Your application today uh, could save your save a relationship. Your application today could save your life. Your application today could get you to a place of humility. And when we humble ourselves before the Lord, then he will exalt us. He does the exalting. Your repenting today could change your very life. Today, repent for your soul's sake. Come on. I know that's right. Somebody already started. Come on. Forgive me, Lord. Come on. Come on. I, I hear you. I hear you. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me. Let's open up. Let's open up our prayer this morning. Let's open up with, let's open up with, with remorse. Let's open up with repentance. Lord God, forgive us. Lord, forgive us, forgive us this morning. We come before your throne, God. We, we've given you thanks and praise. We, we've opened up your bread and we've taken a piece and we've looked at it, God, and we realize that, that we need you more than anything else. We need you today more than any other day. Lord, we need you. We need you. We repent, God. If there's any wicked way in us, God, remove it now. If there's any evil amongst us, God, remove it now. If there's anything, God, that we're not identifying in our lives that we are doing regularly, that's entangled us to the point where we have become common with our sin, reveal it to us, Lord, because we know that in this time, you're going to crown the year with your kindness, your goodness, and God, your past will drip with abundance, and therefore, Lord God, we want to be in your way so that when the abundance flows, that we're in your flow, that we're in the place where we know you are. We love you this morning. We need you this morning, God. No, no other help 
help we know. We look to the hills from which cometh our help, and we declare and we know that our help comes from you, O Lord. We bless you today, God. Forgive us for all of our sin, God. Forgive us for sins that we have held on to of unforgiveness for long periods of time. God, things where our pride has prevented us from our promise. Ah, glory to God. Help us, God. Forgive us in areas where our pride has prevented us from obtaining our promise. You promised us, God. It's available, but Lord God, give us this key. Give us this access code. We're asking God, we repent God, for we know that the kingdom of heaven is at hand and that our souls depend upon it. We love you this morning. Come on. We bless you this morning. We receive your forgiveness now. Your word says that we have the things that we have petitioned you because God, you love us. You care for us. We love you. We praise you. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your loving care. Thank you for your concern for us, God. Thank you for God giving us access to you. Thank you for allowing us to come boldly before your throne. Lord God, we need you this morning. We need you today, God, and every day. But Lord God, this is the morning. This is the moment in time that we just give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We magnify you. We need you today. Let us not get sucked in by Satan. And so God, have us to lose our position. Help us to not lose our place in you. Help us us not to walk away from you by being drawn through the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Help us, oh God, to be able to stand, God, and to fight against all the wicked schemes, God. For your word says that you would give us the victory, that you would cause us to triumph. And so, God, we give you praise. We thank you that we're triumphing. We ask God in Jesus' name that you be glorified in all that we do. We ask God in Jesus' name that you be magnified in all that we do. We ask God in Jesus' name that you throw your weight around and have your way with us and in us and through us, God. May others hear us and hear you. May others see us and see you. May others, God, want to come to you because they see the change and the transformation in us. And your word says, Father God, that when we bring fruit and our fruit remains, that we'll be able to ask what we will, God, and you will give it to us. And so this morning, God, because of our remorse and because of our repentance, God, we have the expectation that we will have the things that we have asked of you. And so, God, we make our request known, our supplication known to you. We ask God that you heal each and every person that's connected to us, that you redeem each and every person that's connected to us, that you draw them in, oh God, only you can do it. And we have an expectation that we will see God, the manifestation of our faith. So we give you glory on this morning. We ask that you heal now everybody that's connected to us, God. Heal now everybody that's on the wall in the tribe, a part of this every day until family. God, I ask that from the crown of the head to the soles of their feet, God, that the blood of Jesus Jesus covers them and that, God, you will heal them. Breathe life into those that need breath. God, heal in the body those that need healing in the body, God. Right in the mind, God. Right in the mind, God. We give you praise, God, for the activity of all of our limbs and that every limb works and functions the way that it's supposed to, God. And every biological function in the body, God, that it will work and function the way that it's supposed to, God. From the endocrine system all the way to the skeletal system, God. From the muscular system, God, to the nervous system, God. From from respiratory, God, in every area we call this body to function and work the way it's supposed to. Push out every infirmity. Distill in the body, God, every infirmity, every impure thing. Bring it out now. Impure things in the body. Impure things in the mind, God. Impure things in the heart, God. Remove it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we glorify you and we declare, God, that we will magnify. Oh, magnify the Lord with me for he is great and greatly to be praised. Oh, give glory due to his name. Give glory unto our God, who is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is the wondrous God. He is the wonder working God. He is the miracle working God. With God, all things are possible. So God, we give you praise on this morning, Lord. We give you praise on this morning, God, as we enter into a time where God, the, to continue prophecy is how God, doom and gloom is coming upon us. But God, we who are your children. We look to the hill, God, and we give you glory and praise, God, for we know, Lord God, that all things are working together for our good. What the devil meant for evil. <laughs> 
You're going to work for our good. And we give you praise for it this morning. Come on. We give you glory for it this morning, Lord. We thank you that you're going to reduce now, God. We thank you that the death toll is not what it was. The death toll is not what it was, God. So we thank you now for it. So now, God, we're going to continue in that prayer. And we're praying now that you reduce the number of cases, God, that you reduce the number of cases. We don't know how it's going to happen and what, what you're going to do. But Lord God, reduce the number of cases, flatten the curve now of those that have uh, that have, have gotten the virus, those, Father God, that are in the way. We ask that you reduce the number of contractions in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, whether it be by wisdom, whether it be by action, whether it be by therapeutic, whether it be, God, you eradicating it all together, but we call the coronavirus and those that are picking it up, God, whether they are going to be asymptomatic, God, uh, symptomatic, and or they have symptoms, we ask that you heal. And specifically, God, those that are connected to us, we call out now, God, that those that are connected to us that have contracted the virus, whether it be by friendship, whether it be by love, whether it be by family, we ask Ask that you heal now, God, in Jesus' name, that you heal now, remove from their body now in the name of the Lord Jesus. And again, as we continue, God, for those that are in hospitals, breathe into their lungs, raise them up out of their sick bed. Those that are in deathly situations, God, if it is not their time, death spirit, death angel, we call you to pass over them because God is no respecter of person. We plead the blood of Jesus over them and that they will not only recover, but they will have a speedy and full recovery. I declare that for everybody that's here on the wall that you just had recent surgery, that sickness uh, in your body in any way, in any form, fashion, uh, I call your body to remember itself and to heal, regenerate every cell, regenerative cell, work and function now in the name of the Lord Jesus and heal every function heal, every function, heal. According to the word of God that we are his children and healing is the children's bread. So we have a right to healing. And so we receive it. Come on. If you receive that, receive it now. Come on. We receive it in Jesus name in every area, not just in Corona, not just cancer, God, uh, from sinus God to un unrecognized pain in Jesus name, un undiagnosed pain. We call it heal in Jesus mighty name. Come on. Glory to God. And father, we thank you, Lord God, that you will continue to do what you're doing, that you're, you're reducing deaths as a result, even those things that would try to overcome. We give you praise and glory for it. God, encourage those that are now, uh, those that are administering treatment, God, those that, God, those that were like my mother, God, that were so committed and that were helping and helping people, God, and despite what's happening in their lives, that they were able, God, to continue to help others' lives. Father, do it now for them. God, do it for them. May they all retire in health and wealth, God, and overwhelmingly, God, allow your love to envelop them and overtake them. We bless your name. We give you glory for it. We give you glory for it. We give you, come on, give him glory for it. Come on, give him glory for it. Encourage their hearts. Glory to God. Lift their spirits. Glory to God. Provide for them. Give them peace, God, as they enter in and out of their home, especially those who have children in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray, God, for those regions that have been impacted by the hurricane, those regions, God, that have been impacted by rains, and God, those regions and those businesses, people, God, right now in Jesus' name, how homes and, and houses, buildings, God, we ask, Lord God, that there will be no flooding and that it would, it would, it would recede quickly. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we ask, God, that you would allow the power to return quickly, that there will be no loss in those moments, God, that there will be no death, God, in the path and those that uh, on last evening uh, in the in the region of Louisiana from New Orleans all the way up through we ask God that you father will remove any stress and tension and anxiety from storms hitting in the region and God that they will not only have recovery but God they will have celebration that you and it will be spoken and said publicly on television, the name of Jesus Christ. We will hear the name of Jesus Christ today and that others will come to know him. We love you. We give you praise for it in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody give God praise for it. Come on, give him praise for it. That's right, do it now, Lord. That is now, 
now. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for keeping us safe. That's right, Ma. Thank you for keeping us safe last night. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God, y'all. Come on, the uh, Southern Mississippi families. Glory to God. We thank you. That whole region, a whole region from Alabama all the way over to Louisiana and through going all the way up to Georgia, uh, that whole pathway, uh, Tennessee, uh, that whole area. All right. Missouri, uh, Kansas, all of that, y'all. Come on. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hey, repent today. Don't let the devil use you. Because once he's used you, he don't have no more use for you. Don't give him no, don't give him no ground. Stay in the way. Contend. Fight. Fight. Fight the good fight of faith. And after you have done the will of God, after you have done the will of God, come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Glory to God. <laughs> my Basile, my Basil. How are y'all over there? It was scary, but uh y'all y'all all right. We got uh listen, Miss Anitra is uh is Hattiesburg. Are they all right? We want to know that they're good. Make sure y'all talk to them. Uh folks, this don't text this today. You make sure you call them today, all right? Y'all reach out there and y'all call them. All right. I love y'all. Those of you that are ambassadors in those states. Uh, if we have ambassadors in those states, do we have an ambassador in Mississippi, Miss D? Let's make sure we have an ambassador in Mississippi that they're praying uh, and that uh, we've got it covered. We got you guys. We got y'all. That's what that's what the ambassador program is for. So we have people covering these states on a regular basis. The enemy trying. The enemy is trying it. He trying it, but he won't get no victory out of it. All right. I love y'all. Man, appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all for being here this morning. Callers, y'all rock this morning. Y'all were there early. I, I, I logged on early, and y'all were there early this morning. So, shoot, let's go. Let's keep it going, and uh, y'all have a beautiful day. Be blessed. All right, IG. Y'all came strong this morning. Y'all was with it, and then y'all was participatory. Come on. <laughs> Jeremy, I love you, man. I love all y'all. Love you, Miss Irma. Y'all have a great day. All right, Brittany, Miss Alicia, y'all be blessed. Those of you that I can't see on the screen right now, I love y'all. All right, what's going on with it? What's going on with it? What's happening? Norman, Oklahoma? They've been out of power for the last three days? Okay. Got it. All right, so we're going to pray for all three of the Jackson boys. <laughs> I, I thought you had one here. So can it be just two of them? Woo, out without power and 33 degrees? Come on, Shandrika, Father, in Jesus' name. Uh, especially those places, God, that are cold without the power. We ask, Lord God, that you would uh, give wisdom to the power companies and that you would give them the ability, God, to expeditiously uh, restore power in those areas uh, where the storm has caused, the hurricane has caused there to be lack. There are, there are not only young people and people without power, but there are also older people, God, uh, who may not have the ability to reach and call out for help. Let there be nothing missing and nothing broken. Let there be no lack and no loss in Jesus' name. And may there be restoration um, on a level, God, that will be in the form of blessing. And we give you thanks for it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Love y'all. Love you too, Mama Carolyn. Y'all have a great day. All right. Man. Got him, got him, got him. All right. Got him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Call on the name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. Hey, y'all, listen, y'all know this. Uh, my, my son's been quoting this regularly. The way of a transgressor is hard. The way of a transgressor is hard. Let's pray that the transgressor returns, repents, remorseful and is in their right mind, healthy and able to receive. The only thing that prevents a transgressor, one that goes against the ways of God, we who are entrenched that are going to be dripped uh, with his abundance, uh, distilled, those of us that are in his, in his ways, we have abundance. Uh, those that are against the grain uh, have trouble. So more trouble change that uh, their ways are hard. It's harder for them. <laughs> So we want to pray that the transgressor returns and repents and is in their right mind. The reason why they don't do so is because of pride. 
And I think I said it earlier today. I hope I, I, if somebody remember it. I think I, the way that the Lord said it through the prayer was, "Don't let our pride, yeah, don't let our pride prevent us from the promise." Let's pray that. That's for that's for old people, young people, everybody alike. That's for leaders. We need to understand that, man. Pride prevents the promise from coming through, and ego will cause us to retract and to to run away from what was promised to us because we can't get over our ego. So Father, in Jesus' name, uh, for those that are dealing with uh, ego, pride issues, uh, God, I pray that they will not recoil, retreat, run away from uh, walking in their promise that they'll be in your way. Amen? All right, y'all. Um, pray that for you. For you know who. <laughs> be blessed. Your you know who, not mine. You don't even know what mine. You know who he is. That's your you know who. <laughs> All right, y'all rock out. Be blessed. See you back here tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time for the Everyday Until 8 a.m. Experience. Be blessed.